Okay, so round two for our matchup here. Score in the tournament increases for victory points you hold, plus kills for the side. This will be our orcs. Uh, I want the flash gets. But then this guy could be good to use his grenade. But I also want the war buggies to be able to run around and capture victory points because that'll help my points. But if I need to flank somebody, I'm going to need the flash gets. Uh. Okay, I've deployed our forces here. We'll have the war buggy try to come up and capture some victory points. The death copters with rocket launchers in the middle with the weird boy to hide. Kill can rocket launcher and war bikes over here. Have us ambush set up down here with the super cannon and the kill can there. I'm hoping he's not going to have a bunch of guys deployed over here so we can run and capture these victory points right away. But that may not be possible, so part of me is wondering if I should have the war bikes over here too, in case he does have other units deploying here, but will change as necessary. Range of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're okay. Okay. 
We've got two victory points. He's got two victory points. I don't think he's got guys up here. I guess. We'll bring you up here as well. And you can hide here. Hmm, what is this guy doing? was a lot of moving and I didn't really see a whole lot happening with it. Alright, so he does have some guys there. I'm not going to be able to shoot him. Got a little bit jumpy at me here. What could I use to scout potentially? Oh, he probably came out to pick up the las guns, maybe. Hmm. Can't see anybody. They must all be on the side here? I don't know. Which makes me wonder, does he have a big rush or something coming? Or is he going to try to break across and push this way. Oh, he still's got two full plasma gun guys there. That may be a problem. Yeah, I'll do something like that just to bring you up. No, nope, definitely can't kill it. Uh, this is tough because I don't want to let the uh, Sentinels get a bunch of kills with taking my guys out here. But I am worried that I suppose he could be coming from this way, maybe. Is he going to do a push here? Oh, he's got actually quite a few guys left over here. Where are you going? Get out! Yeah, he's got a lot of infantry over here.
Ah, oh, weak. Damn it! I am not clicking. That is not what I'm doing. Don't know why you think that's what I'm doing. Miss clicks were real. Oh, that's not good. Those are pretty dangerous guys over there. So let's see. If I put you up here, it's going to put you at quite a bit of danger. Frick. Commissar is in there, huh? So I could kill the flamers, but I think I'd rather... Kill this. So we got a pretty serious problem here, though. Is these flamers can really mess us up. Pretty sure his commissar is up here.
We'll put you over here, I guess. Because everybody else is over there. But he's going to have these grenade launchers and everybody else, so that's not great. He'll probably run the Chimera down, I'd imagine, to soak up all that reaction fire. That's what I would do. If I can take the Punisher out, then I should do okay. The problem is I'm pretty worried about these Death Copters. Because he's got Plasma Gun last Guns. And my stupid misclicks. Preventing him from being in a safe spot. Damn it. Make it. Damn it. Taking some big hits here. do this then. Guess let's bring you down here. Oh man, I am not doing well here. Because if I put you up here, you're in trouble. I'm not worried about these guys, but I am worried about the Commissar. So he's dead. I'm a 
Good. Let's pull you back. And then the next question is, where should I put you to get the most attacks and not get totally killed? Maybe I should actually run him up this way to try to get the victory point, but then we really got to take out these sentinels too. So maybe it would actually be better to pull you down. Ooh, that's not good. So now we got the Punisher down. I feel like I need to be able to take out... ...these Flamers. Because I think they're just gonna keep messing with my... Other units. I didn't even think about him doing that. And he's gonna attack you. All right, what can I do to lock you guys down? So maybe come up here, attack here, Firing attack here, close. Oh yeah, I have you guys too. Okay, so I've got that Hellhound up here, and I've got you. So let's run you up here.
All right, so I'm going to have to quickly start capturing victory points, blow through here, and stop his infantry from getting a bunch of kills. Oh, man. Oh yeah, he does one damage against uh that stuff. Okay, so Need to quickly capture that victory point, then it's going to be a 2 versus 3. But he's going to move over here to take that, I bet. And the problem is I don't have great units to be able to tank. So he is right on the other side. My fear is I may have just weakened this up, letting him shoot through and come after our units. Alternatively, maybe what I should do is run you guys up here and then start trying to go around the back to capture some more victory points. You 
know, this is tough because... There's four turns left. Can I... It's going to take at least two turns to blow through there. So he took one last gun out. He still has several other units in here. you're not going to be able to reach there. So what I'm going to have to do is like warp bubble, try to run somebody in here, or if I can destroy the structure and see other units in there, maybe get it that way. Oh, this is so close. There's the plasma guns. But not to die. I think that's the last enemy unit. That goes four and three, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, you're not going to be able to reach them, I don't think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
Dang it. Well, it goes down too. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, well, maybe you can reach him. You can. that didn't screw me over. Maybe I should have let him run. I'm still not 100% sure how these points work. Uh, score, casualty. So I must have the 179. So I must have won. I just don't know how many points these victory points give you. But man, that was a real nail biter for sure. Oof. Very, very close. This helicopter up here, man, I should have done way better. Those misclicks cost me dearly. Even without the misclicks, I'm not sure I would have been able to <clears throat> fight off all that infantry. Because uh, the last guns have pretty good range, and then the plasma cans have uh, significant damage. Although even the last guns can do pretty good damage to the def copters. And then the flamer play over here broke my guys. Luckily I was able to get some flanks on but yeah definitely very very close game very fun kept me at the edge of my seat so we ended up tabling him uh, he still had 40 points left so I don't know if that means he didn't have enough for another or they didn't have three flamers or what the issue was there because he could have afforded another one and he took out eight of our units so definitely very very close fun fun game and we'll see how round three goes uh, hopefully we'll do better. Uh, we've really stomped it for three of the matches, and this one was the closest one to failing. So we'll see where we end up going after round three, because I think this is the three-round tournament. And I'll be interested to see what our overall positioning is with the scores. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you're enjoying my videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me more. Encourage me to post more content for you.